Hello viewers, welcome back. So as promised, in this video, we are going to learn about a new concept which is called as dead state. So let's take this example in front of us. Design a finite state machine in which the input is valid if it does not contain any occurrence. Read the question once again. If it does not contain any occurrence of three consecutive Bs over the inputs A comma B. So as discussed in the previous problem, if we are having a trap state, it has to be a final state as well as all the inputs are getting trapped inside it. So what exactly is a dead state? Dead state is an exact opposite of what we call as a trap state. In the case of a dead state, it first of all has to be a non-final state. And second, again, the inputs are getting trapped, but this time they are getting trapped inside a non-final state. So once they enter the dead state, there is no way coming out, right? So so keeping this in mind let's start with the explanation the step one is the theory it remains same step two is all about the logic in this case the inputs are a comma b and the output remains same that is yes or no and similarly we can fill up the uh, states after completing the implementation so let's read the question once again it mentions that the input is valid if it does not contain any occurrence of three consecutive b's so we are sure that as soon as there is uh, occurrence of three consecutive piece that becomes my non-final state other than that whatever states are present all those states are my final states so in this question qs q0 q1 as well as q2 these are the four states which are my final states but as soon as the input becomes three consecutive b's that becomes a non-final state is it clear now? So we can clearly say that this state Q3 is a dead state, whereas uh, all the above states are final states. So let's have a look at the implementation. As we all know, QS, Q0, Q1 are the states which, uh, which comprise of all the inputs which are ending with, uh, uh, ending with A as well as B. Q2 is a state which is having two consecutive Bs because as we have already discussed that if we want to check three consecutive Bs, we first of all have to accept this single B, then two Bs and then three Bs. We can't go directly with three Bs and hence we have to add an intermediate step or intermediate state Q2 which will accept two consecutive Bs. So once we are in Q2 and if we get one more B, then we will move to Q3. Okay, clear. So as per the previous question, it is very similar. Once we are in Q3, whatever be the inputs, either A or B, irrespective of that, that input remains in that particular state. And in this case, this particular state Q3 is a non-final state and hence it is called as a dead state. So the differentiating factor between a dead state and a trap state is that dead state is a non-final state, whereas a trap state is a final state. A very... Uh, you can say very favorite question for all the examiners. They keep on asking this question. What is the difference between a dead state and a trap state? And then you should be in a position to answer them confidently this time. Right. So let's move on to the next step. The next step is very, very much similar. We know what to do next. Based upon the transition table, we need to construct the transition diagram. So as you can see, all the states except Q3 is my uh, final state. Q3 is a non-final state and hence it is a dead state as well. So I'm writing it over here. Q3 is a non-final state as well as a dead state. Whatever be the input, it remains in the same state. So I've taken two examples to illustrate this. First of all, I have taken an example where there is no occurrence of two consecutive Bs. But in the second case, there is an occurrence of three consecutive Bs. So as a result, we can see that uh, in the first case, on the left hand side, the string enters into Q0 after reading all the inputs and hence it is accepted because Q0 this time is my final state, is one of the final states. Similarly, on the right hand side, the string enters into Q3 and as we know, Q3 is a non-final state as well as a dead state, hence it gets rejected. So I hope you got the understanding of what exactly is a dead state and a trap state. In the next video onwards, we are going to see some problems which consist of slightly different complexity as compared to all the problems we have done so far. So stay tuned. 